So check out the newest thing Trump's doing. He's peddling this new tax bill, following his MO, perfectly telling the middle class and low income people that it's just fantastic. You're gonna love this thing. And going around and actually going from press conference to press conference, telling people, oh, people are loving this thing. They love my new bill. They, it's like complete bullshit. And what's really happening is there will be a lot of, of lowered taxes and, and tax savings, but they won't be for us. They'll be for the wealthiest corporations that already don't pay their employees a living wage and a lot of whom don't don't pay taxes at all <laughs> you know they literally don't pay taxes so it's not gonna be for us but he's going around telling everybody that it's middle-class America and you know he's gonna roll back taxes and, and this and that it's complete and total bullshit and in his absolute typical con man fashion He's going around doing all this and everyone's gonna love his plan and he might be correct in one thing he's saying it's gonna be easier to file taxes um, he's actually showing people these postcards um, you'll be able to file your taxes on a postcard which is like okay whatever but how he's doing it is he, he's eliminating the most popular deductions that middle and lower income Americans take on their taxes so that they can lower their taxable income Here's a couple examples. He's going to do, you can't, you can't uh, deduct the, a lot of the taxes, like state and local taxes and things like that. Those are not going to be deductible anymore. A lot of the stuff with owning a home will not be deductible. Adopting a child, it's extremely expensive. Um, that's no longer deductible. He's taking away medical costs. Do you know that half the people who go bankrupt in America it's not, they don't have a yacht. They don't, they're not like living this high life, this great, wonderful life. They go bankrupt because of medical bills, medical bills. And usually they're insured, but it's just, if you ever, if you get sick, one bad, you know, one bad thing or two and it's over. I don't care how rich you are. So he's, he's taking away teachers. Um, they get like an, a stipend amount of money that they can deduct because, um, they buy school supplies for the students in their classrooms. He's taking away that deduction. <laughs> Jesus, this is like sick. But the most obnoxious self-serving part is that he is giving a tax break to golf course owners. Okay, yes, you heard me right. Golf course owners. They won't be, you know, they'll still be able to, they'll still be able to, to take deductions and, and, and benefit. I mean, do it on a golf course? I don't, but, um, no, a guy who does, but I mean, another thing that's just so self-serving is the, the tax that you pay, um, the estate tax when you pass away, when you give your property to your children. Um, he's making that tax free now. So, I mean, talk about self-serving. That's obnoxious. So, and the toughest part is, you know, you can tell he's going to benefit greatly. He basically got to write his own, uh, write his own tax bill for himself. Um, and everyone knows he's going to benefit, but we don't really know exactly how much he'll benefit because we've never seen his taxes. I'm guessing he doesn't pay them and that's probably why. The way I look at it is, think about how bad it is. The last four decades of presidents have shown their taxes, um, all of them. And I think just how bad it must be. He's doing something really bad because when he was running on his, in his campaign, he was advised not to show his taxes at all cost. And I mean, <laughs> even if it cost him the election, I mean, so clearly something is going on with that man's taxes big time or as he would say, bigly. So I just thought you guys should know.